Welcome to Morning Prayer at St. George's Anglican Church, Paris, on Tuesday the 5th of January, Christmas season. Today's readings are taken from Psalm 48 and John chapter 2, verses 13 to the end. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. You laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of heaven and earth. To you be praise and glory for ever. As your living word, eternal in heaven, assume the frailty of our mortal flesh. May the light of your love be born in us to fill our hearts with joy as we sing. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Blessed be God forever. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall exult in my God. Who has clothed me with the garments of salvation and has covered me with the cloak of integrity? As a bridegroom decks himself with a garland and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. For as the earth puts forth her blossom and the seeds in the garden spring up, so shall God make righteousness and praise blossom before all nations. For Zion's sake I will not keep silent, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest. Until her deliverance shines out like the dawn, and her salvation as a burning torch, the nations shall see your deliverance, and all rulers shall see your glory. Then you shall be called by a new name, which the mouth of God will give. You shall be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord, a royal diadem in the hand of your God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The Word of God, Psalm 48 we have waited on your loving kindness, O God. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain is fair and lifted high, the joy of all the earth. On Mount Zion, the divine dwelling place, stands the city of the great King. In her palaces, God has shown himself to be a sure refuge. We have waited on your loving kindness, O God. For behold, the kings of the earth assembled and swept forward together. They saw and were dumbfounded, dismayed they fled in terror. Trembling seized them there, they are written like a woman in labor as when the east wind shatters the ships of Tarshish. As we had heard, so have we seen, in the city of the Lord of hosts, the city of our God. God has established her for ever. We have waited on your loving kindness, O God. We have waited on your loving kindness, O God, in the midst of your temple. As with your name, O God, so your praise reaches to the ends of the earth, your right hand is full of justice. Let Mount Zion rejoice and the daughters of Judah be glad because of your judgments, O God. Walk about Zion and go round about her. Count all her towers. Consider well her bulwarks. Pass through her citadels that you may tell those who come after that such is our God for ever and ever. It is he that shall be our guide for evermore. 
we have waited on your loving kindness, O God. Father of lights, raise us with Christ to your eternal city, that with kings and nations we may wait in the midst of your holy temple and see your glory for ever and ever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. To us a child is born, to us a son is given. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in a land of deep darkness, upon them the light has dawned. You have increased their joy and given them great gladness. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest. For you have shattered the yoke that burdened them, the collar that lay heavy on their shoulders. For to us a child is born, and to us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder. And his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and of peace, there will be no end. Upon the throne of David and over his kingdom, to establish and uphold it with justice and righteousness, from this time forth and forevermore, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. To us a child is born, to us a son is given. A reading of the Gospel according to John. The Passover of the Jews was near, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. In the temple he found people selling cattle, sheep, and doves, and the money changers seated at their tables. Making a whip of cords, he drove all of them out of the temple, both the sheep and the cattle. He also poured out the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. He told those who were selling the doves, Take these things out of here. Stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples remembered that it was written, Zeal for your house will consume me. The Jews then said to him, What sign can you show us for doing this? Jesus answered them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews then said, This temple has been under construction for forty-six years and you will raise it up in three days? But he was speaking of the temple of the body. After he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they believed the scripture and the word that Jesus had spoken. When he was in Jerusalem during the Passover festival, many believed in his name because they saw the signs that he was doing. But Jesus, on his part, would not entrust himself to them, because he knew all people and needed no one to testify about anyone, for he himself knew what was in everyone. The word of life, which was from the beginning, we proclaim to you. The darkness is passing away, and the true light is already shining the word of life which was from the beginning. That which we heard, which we saw with our eyes and touched with our hands, we proclaim to you. For our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. The word of life which was from the beginning, we proclaim to you. To us is born a Saviour, who is Christ the Lord, and all the heavenly hosts now sing, Glory to God in the highest. 
Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of his salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. To us is born a Saviour, who is Christ the Lord, and all the heavenly hosts now sing, Glory to God in the highest. We offer intercessions for the day and its tasks, for the world and its needs, for the church and her life. We pray for the church, especially in places of conflict. We pray for the Holy Land, for peace with justice and reconciliation. We pray for refugees and asylum seekers. We pray for homeless people. And we pray for families with young children. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, in the birth of your Son, you have poured on us the new light of your incarnate word and shown us the fullness of your love. Help us to walk in his light and dwell in his love that we may know the fullness of his joy, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Rejoicing in the presence of God here among us, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May God, who has called us out of darkness into his marvellous light, bless us and fill us with peace. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.